Hello everyone, my name is Oslo. Um, today is September 10th, 2019. Um, today is National World or National Suicide Prevention Day. Um, and I just wanted to make this video um, to talk about suicide in my life and what I think this could do to help other people. I don't know if this is the proper thing to do on this day, but you know, decided, you know, whatever, maybe, you know, we're trying to prevent suicide, so maybe this can help with that. I'm sorry for the setting. This is a practice room at my university. You can probably hear a lot of musical sounds in the background. It's probably gonna ruin the mood, but whatever. <laughs> um, so I guess I should start almost a, a year ago on on September 13th 2018 a boy named Owen Nelligan a phenomenal saxophone player and a good friend committed suicide He was a very sweet, caring, and extremely talented young man. I told many people I didn't know him. I guess that was just kind of a way to deal with the, the pain. But the truth is I did know him. I did know him very well. I talked to him many times. He told me he wanted to be a music educator. He was, th he was thinking about doing the Heart Preparatory Academy, like I did. He really looked up to me. miss him very much. Even one year later, he's still in my memory. He will not be forgotten. And I hope that's the same case with many people who knew Owen. In April, of this year, I myself came very close to taking my own life. I don't want to go into detail of how I did it, or at least how I tried to do it, but those images of what I was feeling at that moment, of where my mind, w of where my mind went. Those thoughts still haunt me to this day, and not just the cause of it, but the possible outcomes of what would happen if I did, if I actually did it. I have a very expansive imagination. Some could say that's a gift. Some could say it's a curse. I honestly consider it both. And I thought about, my mind would try to convince me that there was no one there for me that I was all alone. But I knew I wasn't. I know my parents loved me very much. 
I know my whole family did. I knew there were friends out there that did care about me. But these just thoughts of being alone and thoughts of sadness just consumed me. And even to this day, they still try to. But that was the day. It's almost like this battle up here. That day was the closest I ever gotten to losing that battle. And I'm very thankful that in the end, I still won. Because I knew, I knew deep down, there's always something to look forward to. Always. Now, I promised myself I wouldn't make this whole video just about me. I want people f to learn from this. If somebody that's watching this, if you are having these same thoughts of sadness and despair trying to consume you, trying to tell you that the best way to deal with it is to end yourself, it's not. It's not the answer. There's always something to look forward to in life, always. Even if you don't have anyone right now, you will find people. I know because at this time, I never even knew that two months later I would find myself meeting entire, whole many new people, whole set of new people that would care about me very much. And for that I'm very grateful for. And I knew that if I did, if I did end my own life, it would affect many people. In a way, one person's death affected me. And nobody deserves to go through that. Nobody. Just know that you are not alone. Your family, friends, there is somebody out there that loves and cares for you and doesn't want you to die. Somebody does. And they need you just as you need them. I hope that this I hope that this helps in some way, not just me, really, for just getting these thoughts out. But that's all. Thank you for your time.